Growing in Spiritual Maturity Reading from Scripture Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God, instruction about baptisms, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. In every aspect of life, growth is essential. Without growth, there is no maturity. Growth can be seen in our everyday walk of lives. For example, every human being is born as a baby and over years has a development in many areas, in their physical, in their intellectual, in their mental areas. We do expect that they develop and if they don't, then there's a problem that they may face later on in life. Or an example of a seed that is planted in the soil. It goes through a process of growth and development. So sometimes with the right kind of resources such as water, good soil, sunlight or fertilizers, it finally grows roots, it germinates and produces fruit. Growth brings about progress. Similarly, spiritual growth is a similar process. A Christian who is stuck in the elementary principles or in the basic teachings of Christ, although which is foundational, is like an infant. It's not sufficient to bring about the maturity. The basics are to be studied and fed upon like an infant feeds upon milk. But over time, they are to improve, not only in their understanding, but in the practice and attitude of things that concern spiritual things. The verse says, we are to leave meaning to lay aside, not abandon, but to yield up, focusing on the foundational truths and work on to perfection the deeper and spiritual things of God. Now, it is God's desire that every one of his children move into a place of spiritual maturity. Paul writes that in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, and he says, we must grow up in every way into Christ. So what does it mean to be spiritually mature? Being spiritually mature is to be more and more like Jesus. The process starts right from a time a person has received the gift of salvation. And from then on, it is an ongoing process that never ends through life. Failing to grow makes a person stagnant, just like being in a puddle of water. Spiritual growth is not only commanded, but it is a call for every believer who is a true follower of Christ. It's not an option, it, it, and it is not something that is reserved for a few, but it's something that all of us have to grow into. Having established that it is a commandment, growing into spiritual maturity is also a choice. It takes place when we choose to grow into maturity. It does not happen default, just like the physical development of a child. It's something that requires diligent effort to walk in to maturity. Making a choice to grow into maturity has certain requirements. One, we reorder our priorities. We need to change over from pleasing ourselves into pleasing God, and we need to learn to obey. The key to maturity is being consistent and persevering in the things of God. So when you become a child of God, you were given all that you need in Christ to become, to become a spiritually mature believer. However, you and I are responsible to make a choice. So will you make a choice to grow into maturity? Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word that teaches us to move into deeper things of you, to grow into a deeper knowledge of you. We pray, Lord, that you will move us from being infants into being adults who feed on your word and grow into a deeper relationship with you. Empower us to do so. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.